Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Woo Woohoo. I can't believe we're actually going to Super Bowl 57. I've never been to Arizona before. Can't wait to see the Grand Canyon. And I can't wait to get out of this miserable weather. But I must say, the weather isn't as miserable as Cody's expression. Come on Cody, have a little fun. This will be great. Hey, did you know that this year, this Super Bowl will have two brothers fighting at it? You won't be the only sibling rivalry in the country. I don't care if there's two brothers fighting. I don't want to go to the stupid Super Bowl. Why are we even dressed up in these awful green uniforms? They're more puke than dad's hoodie. They're not puke colored you dip at baldy loser. They're Kelly green uniforms. The colors the Eagles wore before the late 90s. And we are supporting the Eagles because they are the team from Philadelphia where the country was founded. Because we are from Boston. We support Philadelphia because they have close relation to Philadelphia. Well I thought the Patriots were Boston's foosball team. Why don't we support them? It's football, you blockhead, not foosball. We're not Germans, we're American. And my god did you get thumb or thaw how the years. The Patriots didn't win the championship game, so they're not playing. And even if they did, I would not support a cheating team like the Patriots. Especially with that schmuck Tom Brady. Now if you're done moping around, we got a plane to catch. Come on everyone, hustle hustle hustle. Ugh, I f***ing hate football. I hate all sports. Why do I have to go on this trip? Hum, looks like I'll have to ruin this trip. Perhaps, make the Super Bowl a cereal bowl. Someone flood the stadium. With milk? Nah, where am I going to get 200,000 tons of milk from? Wait. Arizona and New Mexico have lots of dams. Perhaps, I can find a way to break that open. Yeah, ha ha. Cody, where the f*** are you? Are you scheming again? And did you say the word dam out loud? Nah nah nah, I said I want some ham. I was just hungry. Hello passengers. We are now at maximum altitude. Please do not use any devices with internet until plane is on ground. Thank you. And have a nice flight. Oh, we'll see about that. Huh, what? You say something, Cody? Uh, no. I just had a bad dream. Oh, ugh. Okay then. That too. Sleep. We will be heading over the Theodore Roosevelt Dam. Now's my chance. Oh crap. What's happening? Red alert. Red alert passengers. What? What oh on earth God. is happening? Wait, what the? Cody, why is your phone out? Um, ha ma ma. I didn't mean to have it. Oh God, we are going to crash into the Theodore Rose Hotel. Anti-chair is on measure activated. Oh my God, we're upside down. We are all going to die. Attention passengers. We have made an emergency landing. Please exit safely one by one. Cody, you stupid bald brat. We know you had something to do with the plane crash. Now we will be late getting our hotel room reservation. You have received your first strike for the trip. Two more and you will be super grounded when we get home. Okay dad. Hello all, welcome to Holiday Inn. How may I help you? We got a reservation for the Anderson family. A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. -E the five family vacation room suite package. Oh shoot. It appears your reservation expired just 15 minutes ago. We thought you weren't showing up today. So we gave your room to another family. What? R? Are you fucking serious? Hey hey. It's okay sir. No need to fling your hands. We always have a backup room planned. And it hasn't been touched for a while. It's very clean in there. Okay, I guess I'll take that. But I don't have to pay for the other room, right? Oh no no, that's already been paid for. You paid for half of the family staying in it now and half for the new room I'll give you. Great job Cody. I'll show you to your room, right this way. And here is your room. This. This is a freaking utility closet. This isn't a hotel room. Yes, but it's very clean in here. Absolutely no guests have stayed or attracted bed bugs in here. Because it's a utility closet, you retard. There's no need to call me a retard, sir. 
I'm not the one who was 15 minutes late to the reservation. Especially during Super Bowl season. Take it or leave it. Have a nice day and thanks for staying at the Holiday Inn. God, wow, Super Bowl Sunday, never thought I'd live to actually be at one, Ugh. especially after sleeping on that hard as a rock bed, I can still feel my bed banging on the bassboard, who the fuck makes beds made of metal, should be illegal to do that. So where's our seat at? Just up front, second row, I got the good oud oud seats, that way we can see the bloodshed happen right in front of us, hee <laughs> hee, now Cody. I am warning you, do not, ruin this day for daddy. I've been waiting for this day longer than you've been born, longer than even Caillou's been born. Okay, whatever, let's sit down already, I'm tired of standing around. Why couldn't I just have used the rubber instead? And now, would everyone please stand for the national anthem sung by that annoying white woman who sung the heart in national anthem? Yeah, that's a voice that will wake you up in the morning. By the dawn's early light. Cody, stand up. It's the national anthem. No, I don't want to. This music is trash. Cody, get up right this instant. Don't be like that Black Lives Matter douchebag Colin Kaepernick. You actually like this music? Pathetic. The singer is bad, yes. But it's respectful for our troops to stand for the national anthem. Just do it, then you can sit right back down. But kneeling is disrespectful. Oh, that kid's kneeling. Are we? I agree with the kid. I'm kneeling what? too. What? Hey, this music you is can't. Garbage. I'm kneeling too. The song is horrible. My god, my legs are killing me listening to this trickle. What is wrong with you people? Don't you realize how disrespectful you're being? Oh, those people are kneeling. I guess we should too. Yeah, everybody except for that old man in green sweater. Probably a Trump supporter. Hey, who called me old? I was born in 1966, you jackass. Who do you? What? People are just seriously mindless drones, can't think for themselves. But a sad state this country is. Yo, sit your ass down, old man! Go back to your own country, you. Okay, that's enough of an annoying bitch. And now, for the famous foot of all coin shot, presented by Mama Cullis. You're going down, Philly boy. Not a chance, little bro. Your state is nothing. Philly is what brought this country. E A G L E S Eagles. Well, it's up to mom to decide. Toss a good one for me, mom. I'm not tossing any coin for anybody. What? what? But, 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 mom. This is the biggest day of our, our lives, where I can do the ultimate noogie on Travis's head. Yeah, and I'm where I can finally make my big brother look like the big meanie. He always was growing up. Yo, you're, you're just going to throw this away. It's not because of any of that. I'm not doing it because I don't deserve to toss the coin. I was a banker my whole life. I worked a hoity-toity job while people in the fields across the world were dying. Our troops. They deserve to do it. And I know just the person to do it. Come on down, Pat. Pop, 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 pop. Pat, Pat Illman. Illman. Hello, fellow Americans. I am Patrick Tillman. I have come from heaven for this one day to do the famous coin flip for the biggest Super Bowl in human history. Philadelphia versus the West State, Kansas. I played for the Arizona Cardinals for this fine state, I served for this fine country and died in combat. I am honored by Miss Kellis to do the coin flip. Before we flip, both teams shake hands. Brothers I should say. Here we go. Because Philadelphia was where our country pretty much started they will be heads. Heads for Philadelphia. Tails for Kansas. 
Yes. Oh yeah. USA. USA. In your face little bro. Jason, you know what I always say. Don't be a rubbin. Yes mama. <laughs> well, I'm going to get back to the purely gates. I was having a chat with Dwight Eisenhower. I'm about to play a round of football with him. See you all in a new life. And God bless our fine country. Wow, what a sight to see, Pat Tillman. A truly remarkable moment. Okay Cody, you have your second strike after making everyone kneel during the national anthem. One more and you'll be super grounded, understand? Yes daddy. Good. Wow, what the magnificent kick. That's three points for Philadelphia Eagles for field goal kick. We will now take our first a break. break already? My god, we just got here. Shut up Cody. Yeah, what is with commercials these days with forced diversity and degeneracy? Every commercial seems to put sexual messages into people's minds. Fucking gross. Hum, but not as gross what will happen next. I brought the ultimate way to turn the Super Bowl into a Super Bowl movement. Hee ho ha ha. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Dad, I need to go to the bathroom. Why? Oh my god, Cody, the game's gonna start again in one minute. Hold it in until next break. I can't. I. <laughs> fucking hell. What is the god awful Cody, smell? that's fucking it nasty. Like a year old dead carcass. Fine, I'll take you to the bathroom, but hurry the fuck up. Okay, here it is. I'm going to sit back down. Be out in five minutes, tops. Time to do some nasty dye of real all over the place, then flush all the toilets. Ooh, oh, oh my fucking god, that feels good. Now to go to the ladies' room. The ultimate flushing. What? You're back already, Cody? Yeah, I actually feel much better now. That burrito took pain away from me. Hum. You're definitely up to something. Who me? Nah. Oh really? What's that shaking going on? God, I got human feces in my eyes. This is the worst moment of my entire life. Ha 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 ha. I finally did it. I made the ultimate chocolate cereal bowl. I did. You did what, Cody? Ugh. Hum hum hum. Nothing. Cody, you putrid piece of dog shit. You literally pooped all over the toilets, didn't you? And caused it to overflow the pipes and flood the stadium with your shit. You are the worst child in the world. You are going to be super grounded. After carefully analyzing the security tape, we have concluded that Travis Kliss held the football the longest throughout the flooding, and he never dropped it when he swam across the field while the field was flooding. Therefore, the Kansas Chiefs are the ultimate winner of what would be Super Bowl 57. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Cody, not only did you make everyone's day a horrible one at the Super Bowl, but you made the Kansas City Chiefs actually win. You have ruined the most important day of my life more than your own birth. You also ruined my day as well as making me look like I don't care about football. All of Philadelphia hates you. You will forever be known as the Philly fart. Now walk all the way to your home on your own. Why 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 why?
Shout out to these tubers listed here. They gave ideas to everything PC gaming for this video. And fly eagles fly. Now, as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, super thanks comment, and share this video, and others of everything PC gaming. Make sure to hit the bell notification, next to the subscribe button so you never ever miss a new video.